All right, I guess we're off to Mangle Grove, right? But there looks like there's a little, little side quest here that you got for us. What's the side quest you got? Hello. Little bit of talisman that Andrick is his men as he took the ore to the King's Barrow. It's been under lock and key there ever since. Don't even I don't envy the poor mugs that little that little journey. You have to go around by the Mangle Grove to get there, and it, the place is a very bit as nasty as it sounds. That's it. Okay. Here I thought otherwise, but no. Okay, and that's just information to tell us there. All right, so so now I know properly. All those things are about. Okay. What else really there? Uh. So we can't get out that way. I guess we'll have to go over here. Then, in comparison. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh no, I can't break that. Wish I could. So I guess we'll have to get out this way and then go do it, right? Go over here. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. Oh Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Right, off we go then. Yeah, that's Mangle Grove. So we're around, around these parts, that's for sure. But the one thing that worries me right now is that we kind of, kind of, kind of don't have a lot of, like, XP on us. We're just kind of, like, level 5 and that's about it, really. So I'm just kind of like, hmm. Yeah, I can't jump down there. Just making sure, I suppose. So are we going to Mangle Grove this way, or is this just like a, like we're going down as a thing? We'll get the mushrooms. I need a preemptive strike. God dang it! Preemptive strike lost. It'd be better for you. There you go. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have Eric do boomerang stuff. I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do that. For a little bit, a little while. I do need to check around these areas for show, cause there's gotta be something around here, yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, there it is. So I'm guessing all the little ghosties that you find. Ooh, red eye. What the heck is red eye? All the little ghosties that you find around these places, they're just like little hints to like, hey, there's a chest here or something. Um. I mean, I imagine as much. Anything else around here? God dang. So much of this little spaces to go look at. Alright. Antidote Orb is not the best thing that I could find around here. Ah! Laws, do the attack stuff. <coughs> See, this would have been nice to have the boomerang with. You got a flame slash you could do stuff with. Uh, who do I want first? 
Is the archer gonna actually go call people? I should probably get rid of them first. Alright, you need to go attack right there. Jeez Louise. Alright. Okay, that was some pretty good damage right there. Huh. Eh. Oh my god, Cruelly! Cruelly did that to us! That is this mean battle little thing. Jeez. Easy. Alright, should I just go ahead and put that on there or not? The bull ringers. I don't know. Either way, I'll just go off exploring here. That's that's the thing that I need to just be doing. I'm like, I'm too concerned like going to there and that place and whatnot. And really, I should just explore little, little areas of town and such. That's how you get things. The con top. Ooh, nifty. That's good. Sometimes you just need to go out and explore, right? Just need to go out and about and explore. Whee! Fine, I can't fall down. Jerk. So this is like a complete dead end, so we actually don't have anything to like really look for around here. But I'm guessing this is where the waterfall was? Yeah. Effectively. Let's go ahead and actually equip Eric with the boomerang. I'm doing it, man. I'm, I'm boomeranging. What does sword say? Okay, that's all it says. It's just, it was put in this place. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there's another little, little spot over here that we could go to. Is this where I have to go for the woods? I don't know. Honestly, I'm just kind of like winging around places. Yeah, those are no, no go. Let's let's leave that area. We are not supposed to be around here. I mean, yes, but no, you know. So we're gonna go this way, all the way over here. <laughs> all right, this should be where Mangle Grove is around, right? Yeah, you Mangle Grove. Yep, Mangle Grove, right there. Right there, underwear. Right, right there. Oh, got him. Alright, a group of lamp lampings up here. Yeah, that's gonna help significantly. Like, we should have just switched it to Boomerang a long time ago. But to be fair, we've only been in, like, two fights, so, yeah. Good stuff. Another one? Yeah, he's gonna be my boomerang thief. For show. Sure. I definitely want that. Shoot, I'm gonna actually even make my, my thief uh, in my D&D &D thing uh, have boomerang. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask to see if I can get boomerang going. Because that'd be cool. I always like boomerang as a weapon. Like, the only other thing I haven't, like, I like as a weapon in comparison to a boomerang is a fan. And for those who have not played Dragon Quest IX, you could actually um, have a fan as a weapon, and it's really good because it has a mastery technique that effectively acts as a Vasudo healer, because it heals 80, like around 80 uh, percent, uh, 80 health um, when you when you go about things and whatnot. It's really cool. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, we almost died. Ooh, that was close. That could have been bad. Oh, hey, five points now. All right, that's good. We're almost there. Nice. All right, he got two points. I don't think he could do anything in particular. Uh, no, we can't do anything. Um, so what we need to do? <laughs> not die. Use mental herbs. You use, use them now. Oh wait, what? <sighs> Oh, so Dragon Quest is the one that fills up all your HP when you level up. God dang it, dude. Because I was wondering, like, for the longest time, because I play some other RPGs, and I'm like, I always think that's, like, an ongoing thing, that you heal up all your, your levels and everything. But no, I guess it's just Dragon Quest. I, I, I don't know. Oh my god, there are clubs! Oh my god! Let's kill it! <laughs> Look how cute this is! Look at this little group of enemies! It's 
it's adorable! Oh my god! It's fantastic! Ah, the scale cub! Get out of here, you little! That's right. I killed that old cub. I'd do it again, too. Yeah, Boomerang's hecka strong. I just love unorthodox weapons. I really, really do. Mister. Like, for real. Like, he came at me like a bat out of hell. Chase Louise. Do your thing. Oh, man. I'm loving the boomerang. I'm loving the boomerang so much. I am so boomeranging up. So, 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 so. No. Oh, wait. Hey, what happened with you? What's with you? No! No backup! God dang it! Okay, so he just like got hit or something. Whatever. Do you good? Ow! Why, guy? <laughs> okay, can I do anything? With this? Uh. I have no spells. I can't do nothing, apparently. But I was like supposed to be able to do something, right? You would think. All right, cool. Who else wants some? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we need we need medical herb now. Stats. All right, we should be good actually going to the Mingle Grove. Honestly, I have full confidence with enough of the medical herbs that we've gotten so far. Although we are gonna have to start um, being careful because uh, one of the fights did not end particularly well for us. So yeah. <sighs> what is this guy doing? Hello. It's your lucky day. I'm a traveling salesman. Celebrate us running into each other like this. Go and offer you some special discounts. Have a look. What do you got going on here, buddy? <coughs> oh yeah, it's like a really good boomerang. And it's 420. Oh, how can I say no to that? 420? Of course. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it nice and deep. Sell you... I'll sell you a Benchwood Boomerang. There you go. Um, should we sell the stick? Yeah, I'll sell the stick. It's not doing us any favors right now. Ah, uh, we're good. Thank you, mister. Alright, off to the Mangle Grove we go. I honestly thought there was like a little thing here, but I guess not. I was lying to myself. Ah! <laughs> Don't you dare get dang little cute cubs. Look at that! Look how cute they are! They're so cute and innocent and gonna die! Ah! Five damage is bad. So I guess I have to get, both get them pepped up or something? In order for me to go with this? Ah, Alright, whatever. Hmm... Hmm. I mean, obviously, I have to look around and everything, you know? You, you gotta do that. It's a JRPG, you have to look around and such. And because the way the system works, where I can just go looking around. Alright. Wait, ribbon. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks nasty. Oh my god, it's frolicking! It doesn't understand comment at all! Why can't you pep him up? God dang it. Uh, we'll, we'll do the that devil first. Yes! Ooh, let's do something cool. Pep powers activate the real decoy. Yes, 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 yes. Um, dance a devil or great saber. Dance a devil. Here it goes. Our first pep power. That's kind of nifty. That'd be a little bit more than that, but okay. It's foggy around still. What are you doing? Bad. Let's get at him. Get at him right now. Oh dang! I died instantly. I felt kind of bad. <laughs> you defeated a monster using real Doka. Head back to the soldier by the church and tell him the good news. Should we do that? Yes. Hello, sir. Guess what happened, sir? I did a thing, sir. Nah, don't say a word. You don't need to. Man with my vast fun experience can recognize a first-time pet power user in my life. The glint in your eyes, the spring in your step. 
Glow of satisfaction. Ah, uh, yes. You need it, all right. What, did we just, like, have sex or something? You should be proud of yourself. Dad teamed up with a trusted ally and pulled off a pet power in the moment momentous day of all the awe-aspiring warrior. Feels amazing, doesn't it? Yep. There's nothing like a pet power, and I must say, I feel rather proud of having opened your eyes to their blunder. Here you are. So this is a small souvenir to commemorating this magical moment. Thank you. Now, don't forget, there are more pet powers out there than just waiting to be discovered. The number of ways in which spells and abilities can be combined is beyond even my imagination. Don't think, uh... They're all just two party affairs. Oh no. There are some that need three of you to uh, be prepped up before they can be performed too. To cut a long story short, the more spells and abilities you master, the more companions you meet, the more pet powers will become available to you. Which just goes to show that you can't uh, always go, uh, go it alone in this life. Nope. Uh, there are times when it really pays off to work with others. Thank you. Cool. Now to go back. And we are back to things that we are supposed to be at. Oh, the things to learn. Like, Boomerang is just so amazing. Aya! <laughs> oh, some nifty things. Nifty, nifty things. I am so going full Boomerang on Eric. Because screw anything else. Boomerang for life, baby! It's, it's gonna suck later on down the road when I don't have a heavy hitter, but I mean, I should be fine. I could make somebody else a heavy hitter. So far, I'm really liking Eric as a character too, though. Like, legitimately enough. Like, I can see actually, I can see me actually using him, despite the fact, like that this or that. You know, that makes me happy. Ah. Oh. I'm not saying Dragon Quest makes a lot of good characters, or that they don't make a lot of good characters, because honestly, I find a lot of Dragon Quest to be charming as its own little thing. A little right, you know? It, there's something about it that just makes me go, oof! Make me go, ah! Make me go, ee! So I'll just go ahead and. Uh. We'll attack all three of these guys, they're right here. Ew! Gross! I forgot that thing existed! Oh, that lips. Terrible. Alright, we'll get at you. Oh, dear. Yeah, they're really going at Eric, man. They do not like him. There you go. Oh, Boomerang's so good. It's so good, fam. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Five total skill points. Oof. Yes, we're going to use those skill points right away. Boom. Um, So, with Boomerang, I just saw... That's middle liquor. I was like, what? So I was like, mm, and I'm like, mm. I'm like, I'm so on board with a boomerang all day, every way. We're boomeranging it up, man. <laughs> all right. Uh, so there's four. This is just something in between, I guess. Um, is this dagger? Yeah, dagger knives rather. And this is. Uh, stealing things and whatnot. Okay. This little steel thing, and then we could go up here and do a thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we want to get up to there, so we need pretty much a little bit more. I. Ah, guy! <laughs> What's with you? Stop that, man. For real. There you go. Eh. Kind of surprised that Loss is actually like a lower level than Eric is. Like, why is that? Like, weren't you like the same round level or something? Eh, whatever. It's fine. Who else wants some? There we go. Now I could get the little pep thing. Yes. Oh, uh, what? No, freaking god dang it. Fine. I'll go through here like a poor. All right, we're doing luminary like off the bat. Pep chance five percent. Yes. Spend it all, I don't give a heck. Alright, there's also Zap, calls down enemies to a group of things. And there's target all enemies and makes them disappear. Eh, not really worth it. Increase agility, um, all this such. Ah, oh, this character builder. I love this character builder so far. I really, really do. Like, honestly and truly, fam, I, I do. Can you sort of master at all? 
No, you have to like go up both these ways in order to get that going. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so let's keep going down the tundra. Hope for the more manja. Yeah. How we're attacking the smog physically, I don't know. Does a dafty dance? Don't dafty dance it! Don't don't daft dance at me! God dang it! No! Don't fly! Off. Ah, ow! Why was that 14 damage? <gasps> Dastard! Oh yeah, dancing devil. Oop. Oh god. Yep, this guy's really hitting hard. That's bad. Whew, good stuff. Thank you. Alright, alright. Doing nice and fine. There's something over this way, ain't it? Uh, there we go. For some reason the camera doesn't exactly go as fast as I want it to, but eh, I'll figure that out eventually. Small scale, that's good. But, uh, I love how cute these cubs are, honestly. I really, truly do. Look at that enemy design. Look how cute they are. Look at them frolic. They're trying to hurt us and kill us. They're just like, boop, you're dead. See, look at that. They just take it. They take it. Another one bites the dust. Mm, Let's go over this way. And, ooh, there's a thingy over here. Little nook and cranny over here. What, what's this little nook and cranny doing? You gotta have something good, don't you? What you, what you got up here? What's this what's all nice fancy up here? I know you was hiding from me. What you hiding from me? That's what I thought. Get that red chest. Thank you. Ooh. I'm doing good at this. Got another mini metal. Look at me, everybody. Got a mini metal. I'm mini, mini, mini good. And boop. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! Huh? What the? What's that over there? Red eye? Maybe? I know we have a red eye. That burns. Use? Try to use red eye. Nothing happens. Uh, okay. I guess we just have it as a thing. That looks like a red eye could go there, though, right? Like, I'm not, like, being crazy, am I? Alright, whatever. We got what we got. That's just good enough for us right now. Let's just keep wandering through the mangle grove. You know, so far it has not been that mangly. It's been mostly dancey, I would say. You know, a little, little, little dance here or there. Make a little love, get down tonight, you know? That's all I'm saying. And uh, attacking smogs is pretty fun. Oh, you're trying to attack me first. That's, that's bad on you. God dang it. Oh. Oh, why? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep attacking. It's fine. It should be fine. <laughs> there we go. We are getting hit pretty hard, though. And I imagine that's because we entered this dungeon uh, when it was nighttime. We probably should have done that, honestly. Yeah, either way. I'll I'll have my comeuffins the way they are. My delicious comeuffins. Oh god, he went fast. He went fast after me. Too sweet, right? Too sweet. Ooh, side trail. What you got over here for me? I know it's something good. You always have something good for me. I was like, oh Jerry, please, thank you. Hoo hoo hoo! What? Come on! Come on! He gave me nothing! Ain't nothing! Ain't no how I know! That makes me sad! Oh! I went through here for nothing! My life is over! Oh! Big guy! Big mamma jamma! 
And there's a thing over there too that's pretty dang big too. What? What's down there? Shoot. Are those supposed to be the animals? The, the big, big old boss of bosses? Oh my god, that looks scary as heck. Yeah, maybe we should just stay clear over there. Oh, look at that, we got a campsite and everything. Look at that! A campsite! And just when we needed one. It's still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. You got it. We'll do. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. What, was he gay before? We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Big pardon? Behold, the fun size forge. Pop a few oh. more materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. Ooh. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Uh, forging ahead with the fun size forge. A beginner's guide. I learned how to make bronze swords. Learn how to make divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. All right, you got it, buddy. Now we're in the alchemy section. Here, let me give you uh, some ingredients you need for those recipes I gave you. Maybe you could try forging yourself a weapon or something. Okay. The fun size forge. You use the fun size forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of the raw materials you collect on your travels. New recipes uh, can be found in treasure chests and on box shelves. You'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investigating sparkly spots. Go ahead and try to make your first masterpiece of the recipe Eric just gave you. Uh, forge armor. Hats, clothes? Uh, no, we don't need that. Hats. Oh, so you can make these as, as a thing. Oh, these are like fancier things. Oh, okay. So it's just like an extra thing that you can have. Um, alright. So, we'll do swords. Make a bronze sword, I guess. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Pretty sure there's there's a trophy for like make everything or something. <sighs> I hate it when it's like that. I'll tell you that much. Uh, smithing items can't be simpler. Select bash to start beating your ingredients into shape, and finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away at each individual I uh, area with your uh, porta po pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it. Aim to get every gauge into the green zone. See the travel tips for more. Okay. Okay. Um, bash this. Oh no. Can we rework that? Um, bash.
No, you keep going over. Uh. All right, fine, finish. Yeah, it's gonna be sucky, whatever. Failure, no. I lost this, oh, it doesn't look like it turned out very well. All right, whatever. Uh, nah, we're good there. So you finished your uh, first ever fortune session, eh? Nice. Did everything go according to plan? Nah. Not so good, huh? Well, don't worry too much. It takes a while to get used to it. Just keep trying and you'll get there in the end. Oh, by the way, you can bust out the fun size forge any time we set up camp. So if you want to make uh, some new kit, uh, keep your eyes peeled for a campfire. Alright, I think it's time to call it for a day. That's, we've been through a lot. Better grab some rest while we can. Up and out, champ. The sun's high in the sky already. Time for us to head to Cobblestone. You got it, buddy. And also, let's, let's go look at you. Hello, Woofer. Why are you sniffing at me? What's over here? Anything interesting? What's this? A mark on Lost Hand is glowing. It seems to be responding to a curiously shaped plant. Hold out my hand. Chop, chop, chop. Chop around the clock. One, two, three. Look out, trees. Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me. <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll. Ta da! You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash up this stupid bridge. I'm not about to let you fix it again. Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam. Cutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> Treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. Wait, I know where that empty treasure chest is. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant, and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere.